how to create vertical videos with Google VO3. Hello everyone and welcome back. So if you're looking to create vertical videos for YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, Google, or any other platforms, you can easily do it with the help of VO3. VO3 not only allows you to create amazing, high quality, hyper-realistic videos, but it also allows you to add audio. So you are now able to create anything from ads, movie clips, music videos, or anything with audio as you prefer. So let's get started with VO3. To get started, simply head on over to deepmind.google and then click on try and flow. I prefer to use it in flow. You can also use VO3 in Gemini. This just comes down to personal preference. You do have to sign up with your Google account. And then after that, you must subscribe to a AI subscription plan. The plans start at $19.99, but you can get your first month completely for free. Once you've created your account, you're going to click on new project. Once you click on new project, you can start building your project. Now we are looking to create a vertical video. If you have any frame or any starting point, then you can click on frames to video and upload that starting point image. If you do not, don't worry, you can always click back into text to video. Then from the top right of your prompt builder, you're going to select VO3. Now VO3 fast takes 20 credits and VO2 quality and 3 quality take 100 credits, while VO2 regular only takes 10 credits. I'm going to be using VO3 fast and after that we're going to proceed with building our prompt. Now in your prompt you want to define your entire ad. All you have to do is ask it to create it in a portrait mode and if it's an ad you want to specify that it's an ad. So create a portrait portrait video for YouTube shorts top three places to visit and then include let's say Paris the Great Wall of China and let's say include Paris, the Great Wall of China. I'm not going to define the third place. Now, you can also extend scenes in this so you can build it scene by scene. I'm going to leave my prompt over here. I have specified to create a portrait video for YouTube Shorts. You just need to put this in. You can define it for Instagram Reels or for any other type of ad. And now I'm just going to put in my prompt and let's take a look at what our VO3 will create. Keep in mind that VO3 also creates audio and VO3 also has the the ability to extend scenes. So if you want to create longer videos because in one single clip it can only generate eight seconds of content. So if you want to build longer videos that are 30 seconds then you have to put in your prompt then you want to continue on with the prompt and then you can extend your videos by you know however many folds you want. So now our video has been created let's take a look at what VO3 has created for us. Now I don't like this because it's not what I necessarily wanted so I'm going to redo this prompt and I will specify all three places because I did not specify three places. It repeated Paris, France. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create, ask it to create a portrait video. VoiceOver says top three places to visit. Number one, Paris, then comma, then I'm going to add number two, great, or let's say Paris, then it's going to be Mount Everest. Then number three is going to be Great Wall of China. And I want slow paced music in the background. And now I'm just going to put all of this in larger apostrophes like so. Now let's take a look at the second variation of our video. And now let's take a look at what it has created. Now, moving forward, I can proceed with building, you know, this type of advert or these types of videos. However, I want to build a different genre of videos. This was more so related to like YouTube shorts, but I have this type of content that I've previously created, which is basically ad content already. And I want to build a video where a influencer is talking to the camera. So an influencer talking to the camera, an influencer in taking a video in selfie mode, talking about how amazing these new lipsticks are. Now I've just put in my prompt and let's take a look at what VO3 creates for us. So now again, the influencer in the video is taking the video vertically, but the scene that it has created, the scene itself is shot horizontally. So fix that. What I can do is I can define the scene to be a vertical scene with a specific aspect ratio of six uh, of around nine by 12 or nine by 16. 
So I can move forward and I can just ask it to create a influencer talking to the camera saying, I love the new Lily lipsticks, warm, moody tones in a 9 by 16 aspect ratio. And now I'm going to select my model as VO3 and I can proceed. Now I'll show you guys some of the other example content that we have created. So this is one of the other example videos I've created. The way that I have structured this is that I have asked it to create borders. And when you ask the prompt to create borders around your video, it can easily make the central video your actual video and the horizontal frame that it has, it can convert that into just uh, borders that you have. Now, this is especially useful if you have already created some type of image. So now I'll show you guys an example of how we can do this with borders. Now for this, I am going to be using the flow AI builder and we're going to be using V3 as we previously have been. So we're just going to log on to our account and we're going to head on over into flow once more. Now, keep in mind that you get a thousand credits, but if you are using the AI model on flow, which is V3 quality, then it's going to take a hundred credits, which means you're only going to be able to create around 10 videos, which can be a bit less. So the way we're going to do this is I'll show you guys the final way, which is going to be to create a video where a uh, influencer applying concealer to her under eyes in a 9 by 16 aspect ratio add black borders to the scene and now i'm going to be choosing my model and we are going to go with v3 and we're gonna go with one output i'm just gonna go with two and now let's take a look at the new videos that it will create for us. Now, keep in mind that sometimes when you're entering aspect ratios, if you're having this error where it's constantly giving you horizontal videos rather than vertical videos, you can always take any reference image, even if it's totally unrelated to what you are looking to create. Just give it a reference image. And once you give it that reference image, it is easily able to understand and decipher what you actually mean. You can take any horizontal video it has or any horizontal image you have and insta-size it, which basically means that you add frames to the horizontal widths. So you guys can see one of these is still horizontal, but the other one is actually vertical, which is great for us, which is what exactly we want. So now if you want to further proceed with this, you can click on add to scene and I can proceed with extending this scene. And if I want, I can go back and I can even just download this video, keep it as a reference. And whenever I want to create something similar, I can use the video. I can just screen cap it and use that as a reference as well. Now, if I were to create any other type of video, let's say I want to create female influencer talks to the camera telling how much she is grateful for her followers in a vertical aspect ratio ratio of 9 by 16 and i wanted to add white borders to the sides and now i can show you guys another example and you guys will also see how when we generate two outputs we are going to be able to see you know the differences because this has used the same output where in one space it has created something a bit different, which is still horizontal, whereas in the other one, it was able to create our Instagram reel or our YouTube short very accurately. And I'm just going to go back and I'm going to wait for our new video to be created. And you guys can see this is such an amazing output. This is perfect. This is perfectly a vertical video. And even if I increase it, you guys can see the quality is very nice. And honestly, I would not be able to tell if this video was created using AI if I saw this on Instagram or on YouTube or on any other socials platform. So you can further proceed and use this type of prompt template or this format of your prompt to easily be able to create vertical videos for reels, for shorts, and more content. Even if you're building TikTok content, you can easily do that with this simple prompt within Google VO3. You can even do this with VO2 videos. You can do this within Gemini if you prefer, but Flow just makes it easier to extend scenes. So for that purpose, I do like to use Flow because I want to add, you know, a bit more content. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you are now able to get started with using 
Flow and Google AI to create vertical videos. If you guys did find this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you have any questions or queries, you guys can leave those in the comments. I would love to know what you guys have to say. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next.